Hi, I'm Tanya from Smart Puppy Learning, and I wanted to do a little video tutorial for you guys today and show you how I make banners and buntings for my classroom. Um, so to start, we're going to go over to PowerPoint. We're just going to dive right in, and I'm going to go to Layout, and first of all, make my screen blank because those boxes drive me nuts. Uh, to begin, you need to decide, do you want a triangle shape or do you want the bunting shape? I'm just going to do a triangle to make it easy. I'm going to draw my triangle. And I like to make them kind of narrow so I can get three to a page. And then I'm going to double click on it here. And you don't have to really worry about the fill, but I am going to change the outline color to black. Okay. Then I am going to right click on it and format shape and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to picture or texture fill and I'm going to go from file because I want to choose a file uh, picture that I have I use backgrounds that I find uh, for free or that I've bought on teachers pay teachers and I'm going to go over and snag that you're going to get it wherever it is on your computer so I'm going to go get the glitter ones because I like my glitter so I have my chevron glitters here, and I'm going to pick, or we'll do the purple. So I've put it in. Um, you can see it down here at the bottom that it's in on my screen. And I'm going to tile picture as a texture. That makes it uh, a little wider, and I'm going to close. Bam, there's my, my texture. And I like to leave the black line because it just gives me something to cut from, a, a good guide. So I want to widen this a little bit. You can make yours as wide or as narrow as you want. Keep in mind the size of the bulletin board you're using. Um, the smaller it is, of course, the smaller you'll want these triangles to be. Now I'm going to right-click Copy and right-click Paste. Because you can put up to three of these on a page with the triangles. I'm going to turn it. This will allow you to get the optimal amount on your page. And I'm just going to copy and paste this one. I did, con con I did control C and control V to do that. So now I have three on my page and I need to put the letters on them that I want. Or if you want to do words, you can do words. So I'm going to go to insert, text box. And I am going to use the words welcome. So I'm going to make a W. I'm going to insert it, center it into my box, double click on it here. Uh, you can use whatever font you may have. I, in particular, love fonts, so I have a ton. I'd recommend going on to Teachers Pay Teachers searching fonts. You can use uh, Kimberly Guesswine. She has phenomenal fonts, Brittany Murphy, Darcy Baldwin. And most of them, I believe, offer their fonts for free for personal use. So if you're wanting to make these to sell them, you're going to need to pay for their font licenses. But if you're just wanting it for your own classroom, you can go and make it on your own and not have to pay for them. I'm going to use Shake It Off Chunky. It's one of my new, well, it's not new, but it's one of my favorite fonts to use. And I'm going to make it as big as I want it. You just click, keep clicking up till you get the size you want. And I like to spread these bars so it fits. Now, of course, looking at that looks a little too big, so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And then I'm going to go and choose my color. I want white, but I'm going to, there again, I'm going to go over to format. I'm going to put a line on this just because it makes it easier to see. If you want that line thicker, you can go to weight under um, text outline, and you can just make it a little thicker so it shows up. Then I'm going to turn it. and place it where I want it. So that's my W. Now I can easily just copy and paste it over. It saves a lot of time to make my other letters. And I'm going to go, and I want these to be the same height on these triangles here. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to go to Format and Align. And I'm going to go to uh, 
uh, I always have to look at a line in the middle. So they are in line, but that way I make sure. Okay. And then I'm going to copy and paste it again. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to bring this one up to here. And I'm sure there's a better way to make sure these are centered to this. You actually, actually, I do know how to do it. You can select your triangle, select your letter, and align center, and make sure they're all three aligned center, and then they'll all be exactly in line when you cut them out and use them. Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to change that to an E, just by double clicking it and changing the letter. So there's my WEL for welcome. So I'm going to I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on this actual slide. I'm going to click Control C and Control V, and that gives me a second one just like I already had. But it makes it a lot quicker to go in and change those letters. So this is a C. Once again, double click O. Double click M. And this one you can tell is a little too big, so I'm going to highlight it and shrink it down to make it fit. It might be a little smaller, but if, as long as you keep the size pretty close, it won't be a problem. If it really bothers you, you can go change the size on all of them. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to control C, control V again. So I've got W, E, L, C, O, M. I need an E. And I'm going to make this an E. And if you want an exclamation mark, sometimes I like to have those as well. I'm going to do that. So I have one extra triangle left here, and I really don't want to print it and waste my ink, so I'm just going to control copy and delete. Now you're ready to print. You can go um, over and make sure when you print, just a little tip, print, you want to make sure that you select scale to fit paper, or that you've gone in to design page setup, and you've changed this to be eight and a half by eleven because normally the slides are not um, eight and a half by eleven like normal piece of paper. So when I do that um, and I print, so I change my page slide once again. I'm going to go in. I'll make sure to scale to fit paper, but you want to make sure it's not um, oversized for the paper. We'll cut it off and print it. A good printing rule for anything is to print page one, make sure it looks the way you want it, then print all three. Otherwise, you end up with four copies of things you can't use, and there again, you've wasted ink. So, this has been a tutorial just to help you make buntings and banners. Um, I will post a second video on how to make the bunting shortly, um, but I hope that you can use this in your classroom if you just feel like this is too much for you or you just don't want to take the time, if you'd like to check out my store, Smart Puppy Learning, on Teachers Pay Teachers, you can purchase some of these for just a few dollars and print to your heart's content the letters you need. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave me a message on my blog.